Hi, this is Sandhya from EQ Magazine, India's oldest and leading solar media. And today we have Mr. Manish. Mr. Manish, welcome to EQ. Sir, can you tell us something about your company? Our company is uh, Jaipur Rajasthan based company. We are a solar module manufacturer and our company is the largest solar module manufacturer in Rajasthan. We are having uh, 80 megawatt of the fully automatic line in Jaipur and in, uh, we uh, start our plant since uh, April 2017 and within a very few time span of time only one and a half year we did uh, very good in the North India and the solar market the future is the solar market we are also producing all type of solar modules this poly mono and this is with the very good quality and very good feedback from the market so mr manish what products or services are you exhibiting here today our products is all uh, solar modules uh, we are manufacturing solar uh, in poly and mono all type of small panel from 40 watt to 350 watt we are all type of uh, module manufacturing in our line this is uh, just earlier uh, uh, told you they have a fully automatic line and in this line we are manufacture the uh, modules with a class of manufacturing without the manual intervention with all quality parameter we are following we are having on a factory the all type of quality standards pre el post el framing machine is automatic and uh, the sun simulation is automation and the complete line is with automation so we produce a very good quality of the module and our products okay so what are the challenges and opportunities we have in solar uh, you know indian solar market the major challenge is in indian in solar market the import from the china this is the major challenge for market as you know the very uh, in india right now is a very big market for solar but the challenge is the uh, import from the China and the, this is the same time opportunities for the Indian manufacturers so we can increase our quality we can uh, uh, maintain our prices against the China market and also right now our government is also supporting in this matter uh, central government our India government is also uh, imposing safeguard duty 25 percent on the solar cells and solar modules right now so this is uh, quite good so we think the future is this market is quite good so yeah so what's your upcoming uh, plans uh, for in, uh, indian market and international market as well for indian market we just plan uh, to uh, uh, you can manufacture more and more modules to supply in indian market from all our sizes and also we want to have these all type of modules to use in this uh, big projects at present what happened in india the modules uh, the big projects uh, developers are using maximum uh, Taiwan, Malaysia or China based modules. So we just push and try to under, uh, convince the Indian module, uh, Indian developers. So if you use the made in India modules, they are all at par with the quality from the China and the big company, tier one company. So we can supply good module to all Indian sub, uh, de developers. Yeah. So do you feel the government policy is supportive uh, solar energy? There is a solar is a very big market. The lots of policies required to support a, uh, to increase or you can say to go, go up, uh, up this particular market. Few policies are supporting this market, but few policies are not supporting this market. Currently, if I say the from uh, stopping the uh, you can say the import from the China, Taiwan, and this country, no doubt government is supporting. They are imposing safeguard duty. They are imposing BIS. That's all. But the second part if we go for financing and this all uh, matters is still not so much of the support from the uh, you can say india government there is no scheme for manufacturers right now if there is a, some scheme that is only for big manufacturers but for msmes or smes there is no big uh, any type of uh, policies by the indian government so we just uh, try to uh, uh, convince to uh, government ministry of renewable energy that manufacturing is a totally different uh, sector from the developing uh, you can say the EPC so manufacturing need lots of uh, uh, you can say government uh, uh, policies to take up because uh, manufacturing give you regular you can say uh, the uh, uh, employment to the Indian uh, people employment to government and regular you can say earning of all type of taxes and everything to government in development development EPC development if there is a only project then it will be finished within two months three months four months after that there is no uh, uh, you can say employment nothing is there but if we manufacture I can uh, tell you if we manufacture only one megawatt of solar module in India then only 25 lakhs rupees of the manpower will be retained in India 
so that is the main thing if you you know the thousands of megawatt uh, is importing from the china and these country if we start to manufacture 50% of this uh, indian requirement then you can check the how much is the employment how much is the generation in india so we just try to convince government to focus on okay epc is a market but manufacturing also a very big market can be very big market for this sector Mr. Manish, EQ Magazine has completed 10 years. Would you like to say something about us? It's, it's tremendous. Uh, since uh, our starting of uh, this company, we are regularly in touch with the EQ. And Mr. Anand, I know personally, is a very good friend of mine. He's very good effort. And uh, the main thing is now the whole this uh, solar sector, EQ and this type of magazines are with positive gesture they are just encouraging this market so this is a good and wish uh, wish you all the best for eq their future and especially to mr anand for their hard work for this industry exactly. thank you so much for being with us thank you